Santa, you were once in a lifetime friend. You are one of a kind and someone that was so incredibly easy to love. You're irreplaceable and no words can accurately describe how amazing you were and the substantial impact you made on my life. You made life so fun. I can't imagine a better person to have experienced the last couple years of my life with. Having fun with you was a different type of fun. I've never met someone so unpredictable and free-spirited. You were funny without even trying, were the source of everyone's laughter. Imagining my life without you feels dull and unbearable. Xana was always the fun, crazy one while I tried to keep up, yet still made sure we got home safely. She always cared about everyone and made sure everyone was having just as much fun as her. She was everything, an amazing friend, comedian, pop star, therapist, sister, girlfriend, and daughter. This girl was the light in everyone's life. She lit up every room she walked in. She didn't care about any, what anyone had to say about her. She definitely lived up to the term YOLO. She always told me that if she were to die tomorrow, that she would be okay with it because she has lived every day to the fullest that she could and has left her mark on this world. Some of my very favorite memories have been with Xana, and I am certain I will never have as much fun as I did with her. She is easily one of the best people I've ever met, and I hope heaven knows how lucky it is to have her. I hope they have unlimited chicken enchiladas and blasés on repeat for you, my Xana girl. To say I'll miss you is an understatement, so instead I'll say I'll carry you with me forever. Xana was such a light in my life and so many others. She was the person I could relate to the most and she understand and she knew and understood me more than anyone. Losing her is the hardest thing I've ever had to go through and it has left me heartbroken. Xana was the funniest person I knew and made me laugh every time I spent time with her. I have so many memories and stories I could share about her, but I know remembering the times I had with her brings me so much joy and happiness. Everyone thought we were twins growing up, and I remember in some of our last moments together, we were in her room laughing in the mirror because neither of us thought we looked alike, and her friends just laughed. She was my baby sister, but she was so much wiser and experienced so much more in life than I ever have. She never let an opportunity pass her by and enjoyed all the moments she had. She was always doing something fun, and in any situation, she was all, it was always so much more fun with Xana there. I remember I would get so mad because I always thought my friends liked her more than me, but she was a person that everyone enjoyed being around. She was so positive and lighthearted and understood the gift of life more than anyone I know. I remember her getting so mad at me for caring about the little things that didn't matter. She would always tell me she wouldn't know what to do without me, and now I have to live this life without her. I know she would want me to cherish the times I have with the people I love. She would want me to make the most out of every situation. She would want me to have fun, continue my journey in life, and constantly tell people how much I love them and they mean to me. I remember going to hang out with her about a couple months ago. I remember telling her that we should try to do a sister date every week to spend more time with each other before I graduate. I remember her loving the idea and her friend Ella reached out to me and told me that Xana was so happy that we were going to start doing that. I love her so much and I wish I would have had, I would have spent more time with her and had the chance to continue spending time with her. I know she loved living in her house in Moscow with her friends. I would hear so many stories about her and her roommates and it made me so happy to know she had such great friendships. She really knew everyone and, ever, and was friends with everyone. She had the best friend group and had friends in so many different sororities, fraternities and organizations. I was so happy she was dating Ethan, and Ethan was such an amazing person. Santa never had a boyfriend before, and my dad and I wondered if she was ever going to get one. <laughs> Ethan was that special, though, because I know she was picky with boys. They were always so happy, and the way she would talk and smile about him was something I've never seen her do before. She truly loved him so much, and I know he had so much love for her. They had something so special, and everyone around them knew. It's comforting to know that they're all watching down on us from heaven now. Sienna and Ethan were two peas in a pod. They were goofy. They both had a beautiful smile. They were both kind. My first impression of Ethan was he's just this huge dude that you wouldn't really approach, but as soon as you really got to know him, you realized that he's like one big teddy bear. Our mutual love for country music is really what brought us together. We gravitate toward each other because we'd be singing these country songs. We really got along. Ethan was always someone you could count on to 
make you smile and uh, cheer up your mood. Everybody loved him and his beautiful mustache he had. And I feel so lucky to have shared so many great memories with him. He had such an infectious smile and a charismatic personality. And if you knew anything about Xana as well, they were very similar in how they acted together. Me and Ethan shared a lot of memories together, usually at a party where me and him would be controlling the ox and be singing at the top of our lungs any country music song <laughs> when 50 other people in there not saying a word, just us singing as loud as we could. I'm gonna miss our uh, favorite Moana songs we would sing together <laughs> and uh, watching you carry all of your drinks in a garbage bag when you walked into a party. <laughs> I know we're all gonna miss these. I love you so much, E and Zan. To Zana and Ethan, the two best friends but perfect pair together. They had this unstoppable, loving relationship. They both would look at each other with so much love. Everyone knew they were the perfect duo. They both had this fun, passionate, crazy, but good energy. They both were the kind of people who cared about everyone and would help anyone. I know somewhere Zana and Ethan are together keeping each other company, watching us and telling us it's okay and that we have each other. Maddie May, she was, uh, she's, she was the first uh, granddaughter, grandkid of any of her grandparents. Uh, she was Karen and my only child that we ever had. And, uh, and so she got, you know, everything she ever did was such a big deal. And uh, she was so, she was just such a happy, just a, such a great kid, such a perfect little baby, and so just smart and funny and beautiful. She was just nice to everybody, and I'm, when I would meet people, ever since she was first born, when I meet people, I they say, you know, tell me about yourself, or you're just trying to get to know someone. The first thing I'd say is, well, my, I have this daughter, and she's she's you know, here's a picture of her. She's she's on the dean's list at the, at college, and she's she works hard, and she has all these great friends in the sorority, and she's you know I just would tell them all about Maddie. I wouldn't even they would we they walk away from it like I don't know anything about him. I, we know all about his little girl though. Maddie has truly been a blessing in our lives. Watching her grow and mature, and to the amazing woman she become is truly priceless in our hearts. She was the world to us. Maddie was such an easygoing, loving child growing up. She absolutely loved younger children in her life, adored all animals, and never said no to any type of family gathering. Maddie loved to travel, especially with her best friend Kaylee and her family. They were both in love with life and exploring. That's why they hit it off so well when they met. They were inseparable from the sixth grade on. They were truly sisters, and our families grew bigger and better from that. The two of them were a force not to be, re not to be reckoned with. They stuck together through everything. Maddie had such a bright future as all these kids did. <clears throat> the world is a darker place without them, but the light, of their, the light of their love and memories will always guide us all. One of like my most fond memories, she was so excited for her 21st birthday, and I'm just so glad that we got to celebrate it with her. Um, we went to this restaurant in Boise called Western Proper, and she was so sad on this mimosa cowboy hat, and it was like $75, <laughs> and we were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, do we really need to get that? But we got it, and she was so excited, and I'm just so glad that we got those memories with her. Um, 
and her light and her love just shine so bright and she will never ever be forgotten. Well, I was Maddie's boyfriend. She was always smiling and dancing and laughing and she was really observant of things. She would point things out that she thought were cute, which was something usually pink or tiny. Maddie was a perfectionist. Um, a good story with that would be um, Kaylee and Maddie's birthdays. They were like a month apart and Maddie's came first and she would always get frustrated because Kaylee would always go all out and just make everything perfect for her and it was like almost like a little competition between the two who could make the their birthday is better, and I guess it was a re repeating thing throughout the years of them knowing each other. Maddie was the best at spreading love to all of those that were close to her. Every time I talked to her on the phone, she would end the conversation with I love you, and be as positive and happy as we can through this time, and just know that we have her watching over all of us and um, I know she's in heaven, and I can't wait to see her again and just give her a big hug. Kaylee was our middle child out of five. She was always competitive. She was smack dab middle, so Stephen and Olivia were a little bit older. Andre and Aubrey were a little bit younger, so she kind of had to figure out where to fit in, and she definitely did. Um, there was enough, never a day that she didn't want to race her brother because she was just determined that girls were faster than boys or that she didn't want to go bug her little sisters and, and uh, you know, make sure they knew that she was older and they were the little sisters. Um, Kaylee is a huge part of our family. The dynamics of our family will never same. We know this is God's will. It's hard to accept. But she was a beautiful girl. She started uh, junior high with, with Maddie, as, as you all knew, and our family became six very quickly. You know, there was a lot of friends throughout this family that came and gone and went and whatever, and we're still friends, but we don't see them that much. I was with Maddie. Maddie and Kaylee were by each other's side. They went to other countries together. Karen took them to Hawaii together. We took them to Mexico together. They went to college together. They went to high school together. They lived in their own apartment together. They were sisters. She was one of ours. And we're just heartbroken. And we know it. it's just going to take time for everybody to heal. If that's possible, I, I just pray that it is. Anyone who knew Kaylee would tell you the same thing. To know her was to love her. Her love for life and everyone in it was so inspiring. She made it a priority to make everyone feel so important and so loved. I found a quote that reminds me of her. She embodied her own sunshine and that's when her skies became limitless. To know Kaylee was to love Kaylee. Kaylee, she was like the protector. If we needed honestly anything, she would just do it. I remember I had like a professor I was having a hard time with. She's like, Katie, sit down. I'll call the dean for you. I'll draft the email. <laughs> we'll figure it out. She was in everyone's corner. She was the voice for people who didn't have the voice. So I, I'm going to embarrass her a little bit, but I want everyone to know these girls were absolutely beautiful. They had been friends since sixth grade. They just found each other, and every day they did homework together, they came to our house together, they shared everything. They convinced us, they made a proposal to go to high school, to a regular high school. So then they went to high schools together. Then they started looking at colleges. They came here together. They eventually get into the same apartment together. And in the end, they died together in the same room in the same bed and it's it's a shame and it hurts 
but the beauty of the two always being together is something that will will it comforts us it lets us know that they were with their their best friends in the whole world Kaylee was a very special person she brought everyone and anyone out of their comfort zone and was the brightest light to, in everyone's life to know Kaylee was to truly love Kaylee she was everyone's go-to girl down for anything and the most selfless and kind person I had the pleasure of knowing. It breaks my heart that we won't be able to live out our dreams together. But for Kaylee, I will continue to live in capital letters.